Algonquin visiting Westboro for a critical mid-watch A showdown, and things got physical, maybe even a wee bit chippy Thursday afternoon. Interesting coaching matchup between Algonquin's Rich Luongo, one of only six Central Mass coaches to ever win 100 games, and first-year Westboro boss Kyle Biancardi. Tied at one in the first until Hartford commit Jake Foster picks up a ground ball and puts Westboro up with this nifty shot. Two to one Rangers early. Then it was clobber in time. Westboro would take it to Algonquin throughout the first half, landing a number of hits, some of them legal, some of them, well, not so much. Either way, the Rangers controlled things early, but Tomahawk goalie Colton King absolutely stood on his head to keep Algonquin in it. The junior was just a wall, stopping shot after shot after shot. What an effort from this kid. But eventually that wall had to crack, and it did when Jack Pierce got airborne for this leaping goal to put Westboro up too. Algonquin needed to get something going offensively. And they would finally get just that, as Matt Larson finishes this one in transition to end a 14-minute Algonquin scoring drought. The Tomahawks would then get a boost from junior midi Mike Martins, who powers this shot through a crowd of Rangers to tie the game at three. Then, moments later, it's Martins again from virtually the same spot. Algonquin goes up 4-3 to three and has its first lead since a minute 30 into the game. But Foster had seen just about enough of that, and he rips this one in to draw things even at four. Not to be denied, Martins comes right back at the Rangers, throwing this one in to complete his hat trick and put Gonk back up one. Speaking of hat tricks, how about this as Foster fools my camera, and then he sneaks this one past King for his third goal of the day, game tied at six in the fourth. Still tied at six, and Algonquin's Alex Sable finds some room, then throws a fake and goes low to give Algonquin a 7-6 lead in the fourth. Just 20 seconds left to play, and Westboro's Charlie Katz fires a shot, but King comes up with a save and knocks it away. And the Tomahawks would gain possession. That would do it. They'd go on to win 7-6 and remain unbeaten in mid-watch A play. Reporting from Westboro, I'm Joe Perello, SweetSports.com.